What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Draco, coming back at you with another episode of Draco's Journey to Master Ball, where we use rental teams of teams that I've created to reach the Master Ball tier. And in this episode, we are continuing with some G-Max Kingular action. Um, it's G-Max Kingular. Uh, as you guys seen in the last video, he does a lot of work. He's, his, his max move is really cool, harsh signal and speed and stuff like that. I'll have a the link above for the last video so you guys can check it out. But as far as the team, it's Kingular with Crab Hammer Knockoff, Wide Guard, and Ally Switch with the Wakan Berry, so we can take one of them electrical hits a little safer than needed. Um, then it's got Indeedee on it with Psychic Surge and holding a Psychic Seed, so his special defense goes plus one when you let him out. Expanding Force, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Protect for the move set. Uh, the Indeedee is actually a really key player on this team. Uh, it takes, you can redirect electric attacks when you've got Kingler out, you can help in hand Kingler, stuff like that. Uh, then we go on to first restricted Calyrex, obviously with the as one ability, and then it's got the Focus Sash. I'll say it every single time I see a Calyrex, good players run Focus Sash on Calyrex. Astro Garage, Expanding Force, Trick Room, Protect. Trick Room is an odd little tech on this one, just because it's not very common, but I understand why it's there, and it's there because Trick Room against this team is very hard. It's very hard to operate under Trick Room with this team. Um, in the last video, I want to say I actually went up against a Trick Room t team, and I tried to do something crazy to get Trick Room switched off, and it didn't work, but I ended up uh, still like winning in the end or whatever, but it was a lot harder than it should have been. Um, so. Anyways, let me go over to the second restricted with Xerneas, and that's got the power herb for the item, Fairy Aura, for its ability, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam. Of course, it's key move, it's signature move, the move that makes this Pokemon the most dangerous Pokemon that it is, and that's Geomancy, with the Protect to round out its moves. I will say that anybody who's interested in this team, the chances of you getting your Xerneas to work correctly um, are not as high as you would expect. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, you really gotta be able to read the board and know when to hit that Geomancy button. Um, you know what I mean? You can't just try and, you know, start lead with, like, Indeedee and Exerius. Hit the Helping Hand. Or not hit the Scar. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not hit the Helping Hand. Hit the Follow Me, and then, you know what I mean? You got you get your Geomancy off and stuff like that. You know? Then you protect next turn. You know, maybe Indeedee's dead, bring out Kingler, Max Kingler, get those uh, foam bursts off and get some speed lowered on other things. But you're so fast with Geomancy anyways that chances are you're not speed everything. So. And then we go down to Incineroar. I don't need to explain Incineroar. It's Incineroar. <laughs> like, I really don't. It's on every team. And then Cortana is the final Pokemon to round up the team. And it's the best in Cortana. It's the best set for Cortana, um, in my opinion with Fleet Blade, Sacred Sword, Smart Strike, and Aerial Ace. So, really, like, you can, like, put Cortana out next to, like, Calyrex or whatever, and start just hitting Steel Spikes, you know what I mean? Hit, like, a Leaf Blade, hit a Steel Spike, hit Aerial Ace. You know what I mean? You boost the Calyrex a lot. Um, but, other than that, I think I had a lot of fun piloting this team, um, and uh, the battles I got lined up and this one are some pretty intense, pretty good battles. So stick around, and um, yeah, I will see you guys in the battles. Okay. <laughs> Depending on what, what Urshifu that is. Katana does pretty good here. So... We could go like this. We could do something like that, that could work. Let's do this. Let's 
Let's try it. <laughs> Indeedy and Hat. Okay, so they can go for a trick room. Faster, it looked like. With Indeedy. Okay. We could switch into Calyrex here. And trick room? <clears throat> like, if they trick room this coming turn? Kind of. Let me geomancy here. Force. And Trick Room. Okay. So I should have switched, not indeed, I should have switched the deer out. Because then I could have followed me. Yeah. Hmm. Smite me. Who is smiting? Oh, Calyrex. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the expanding force were confused, which sucks. We max Starfall. Goodbye, Hatrini. Goodbye, Hat. Goodbye, Hat. Okay. So it kind of sucks they have Trick Room up still, and we got absolutely nothing out of our Shadow Rider. Okay, we'll go here. Dracofish. Dracofish. Man. It's that trick room. Three turns of trick room. Can 
We hit the follow me button. And we hopefully we don't get confused. Okay, helping hand, but I mean we're following me. We're doing follow me, so follow me. Hopefully we don't get confused. Fusion Ren just destroyed our Ndidi, so we need to not be confused here. Perfect. Okay. So there goes that thing. There's no way it was that. There's just no way. <laughs> Okay. Now we bring in cart. Swamper. Go into Yes. Go into my deer. Go into the deer. Go into the deer. Perfect. Leaf blade. Goodbye, Swamper. GG to my opponent. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm over here just fixing my beard up. Okay, we're like, it's all good. Pretty decent battle. That was actually really good. Um, yeah. <laughs> the switch in there was not the right switch. Like, we were able to still pick up the victory or whatever in the end. But what should have happened was more along the lines of switch the deer out <laughs> for the um, Xerneas and then follow me that first turn or even just protected and then um, they would have trick roomed. We would have took damage, but it was an expanding force damage so I think we would have survived two of those. And then we would have followed me the next turn. They would have smited the Ndidi. Then we would have canceled out Trick Room. And it, would have, it just would have been a little bit easier. It shouldn't have been as hard as it was uh, for us to pick that one up. But we did. So, yeah. We're just going to get into another one. Okay. <clears throat> we got Charizard. Hildeki. Hildeta. Groudon. The Slug. And Grimmsnow. So, pretty standard Charizard. Or pretty standard Groudon Yelveta team. So, how do we want to do this? I mean, do you think they lead? <laughs> do you think they lead their Groudon Charizard first? Like, how silly is that if they do, though? You know? Say, I guess, Gritana. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lead it like that. It's probably not a good lead. <laughs> I would say, not bringing 
Reggie Lucky makes me not want to bring Kingular for sure. So, yeah. There you go. Reggie Lucky Yoda. I told you that was going to be their lead. Follow me. <laughs> we could... Mm. I kind of want to follow me. Max Foam Burst the Reggie Lucky. But then they get E-Web. That's why I was hesitating against doing this. This is not the right way to play this team, like, against this team we're playing. Um, we should not have led with Kingler at all. Not at all. Because of this. But, we're just having fun here, climbing the ladder. That's the whole point of doing this. We just, just want to have fun. Just want to have fun. And that's what we're doing. Volt switch! We eat that all day, and Diddy's like, nom, 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 nom. That volt switch, though. Who are they bringing in? Bring in a ring! Oh, bring in Soul on Fire. Oh my gosh. Bring in, like, Charizard or Groudon. Do it. I beg you. Groudon or Charizard? Or the slug would be terrible. They had the slug. Groudon. Groudon. Good night. Do you think it takes it out? <laughs> no. Half damage. Over half damage, though. The sun, that's why. Okay. Foul play. I'm doing DD. Okay. So. I think I'm gonna target this spot. Okay, because we got Katana and so we're gonna helping hand. We're gonna max foam burst that spot. I figured maybe they were gonna switch into Charizard. Kind of sucks. It didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to do, but that's okay. So blades. Who avoided? Kingular did not avoid. <laughs> Indeed, he avoided. They cut a crit too. Oblivion wing. Ooh, five percent. Look at that, hanging out with the five percent. Let's protect Indeed here. Going to Groudon. I want to get rid of Groudon. Who protected? Oh, and DD protected. Okay. Groudon protected. That sucks. Sucker Punch. Misty Terrain! Misty Terrain! Do you think it lives? It did live. That's unfortunate for them.
the king of the is just like, yo, I'm hanging out here. Hanging out. I'm gonna knock that thing off. You can't sucker punch your psychic terrain, dude. Keep trying, though. Vest, expanding force. It's okay, take out the Yelveta. Or the Grana. Get out of here, Grana. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. I feel lucky. They could do their, uh, they could do their spread move now. Now would be a good chance to do their spread move. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Eat the berry, that's funny. Okay, it's okay. Oblivion wing. Uh, you know, I should have switched into Katana there. Now we lose both Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, sunlight's gone. Let's see. room Let's take her sword uh-huh okay This is a rough one. Uh, they're gonna bring Charizard in, go big with Charizard, we're gonna lose. Yeah. Secret Sword into Charizard. It just didn't do much. here. Because they're going to sucker punch. My only hope is that Astral takes out Charizard. Yeah, because they're going to go big. They're gonna sucker punch. This could be the last turn of the game. They're gonna sucker punch. It's gonna take us down to Sash. We're gonna focus. We're gonna Astro Barrage. If Astro Barrage takes out Charizard, which I don't think it does. I don't know. So there's our focus, Sash. Sacred Sword. Nah, we lose. 
Unless it kills both Pokemon. <laughs> it did a lot of damage though. But yeah, we lose due to the dot. No problem. Um, yeah, there was like, I could have played way differently. Um, like, I should have brought in. Um, so I should have definitely started with like. So this is my. My lead should have been. Indeedy and Xerneas. Okay. So that way I could have followed me, Geomancied. Then they would have done their Volt Switch. Okay. They would have, you know what I mean? And then, um, next turn I could have maxed the deer, you know. Just not a good turn. Not a good battle. Um, like I said, but I did it when I started it out. I just want to use the crap for some dumb reason. But we're going to do another one. Well. This is an interesting enough team, I guess. There's only one problem. <laughs> the crap is terrible here. We're going to go Indini, Zern, Calyrex. And Cortana. I think I'm actually going to change it up here and go this route. I should have went with Incineroar first instead of Indeedy. Okay, let's see what happens here. Crimson or Venusaur. It's a pretty interesting lead, nonetheless. Here we go, Katana. And Indeedy. Katana Indeedy. Okay. So oof. we could just drop a huge expanding force there. And a max steel spike. But they're gonna get their screens up anyways, so like we could go Max Airstream, Expanding Force Max Airstream. Okay. We go big or go home. Go big or go home with Cortana, that's what I say. That's not true. You know what I mean. That's gonna proc their berry. I double tapped it because I didn't want them. Okay. Does expanding force take it out? <clears throat> It'd be pretty cool if it did, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be cool if it did? Let's see. Kill it. Kill the Venusaur. Get rid of that Venusaur. Venusaur's off the board first turn, fam. We don't get a beast boost though, unfortunately. That's okay. Regieleki. Would you look at Regieleki? So that's why the focus said. Allergies that are tickling my throat today, but it's doing something. Spinning force. Max knuckle.
they go big with red, do you like it? They light screen. Max Lightning. Into Katana. It doesn't do much. Okay, so now we do we. Our max is almost over. We could helping hand here. And then. Max overgrowth changes the terrain. Yeah, I should have mare streamed last turn. And Didi hangs on with that. That was pretty good. And then Didi hanged on. Overgrowth. Get out of here, Reggie. <laughs> that was good. Okay. There's a beast boost. <clears throat> I don't know what that attack was. I didn't get a chance to read it all. Something surrender or something that flash surrender, false surrender or something? I don't know. Something I've never heard of. Kyogre. Okay. Okay, Kyogre. Okay, so. Cancel. GG to my opponent. Pretty good. Oh, look at that. We didn't actually lose a Pokemon in that one. That's not normal for me. Usually we lose one, two, three, or even all four. <clears throat> I want to see what that move was because I didn't get to see it. It's the wrong Pokemon. False surrender. The user pretends to bow its head, but then it stabs the target with it. Disheveled hair. <laughs> this attack never misses. They have fake out. Not bad. All right. There we go. Um. Yeah. That's actually. Uh. I think that's gonna be. It's gonna wrap it up. So yeah. Let me grab the rental code for you. All righty, the universe. That's it. This is a wrap for the Kingular team. Uh, that is the G Max Kingular team with the Calyrex and the Exerneus. Um. It's a cool team, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's a cool freaking team. Check it out. Just be wary that Xerneas is kind of hard to pilot because Zacian exists. That's the answer. <laughs> That's why. It's because Zacian exists and Zacian just murders it no matter what. Um, but as far as Kingular, man, what a fun little Pokemon to use. And he just looks fun, too. Like, I love that. That's one of my favorite things when I play. I love to use Pokemon that look funny, <laughs> look cool, have like a little cool little shtick about it. Like, if Xerneas looks like a freaking reindeer from hell, that's just gonna rip your face off. And then got Calyrex. Calyrex Shadow, Calyrex Ice, it doesn't matter. It's a weird, like, big brained villain looking thing riding a horse. <laughs> Devil horse. You know what I mean? And, you know, Kingular. It's freaking Kingular, man. I think he's got a huge crab hand, and then when he's big, he's got a big beard like me, so... You know, look at him. Like, like, maybe we got the same lay weight there. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I definitely enjoyed using the team. And, um, if you guys did enjoy that video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. Help me build the DK Trading uh, YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out the DK Trading 
Facebook group. I will have a link below. So, until next time, just remember to take care of yourself and take care of each other. Peace.